Hello and welcome to Bullion RV. My name is Tristan and yes, today is February 11th, the start of our show here at Bullion RV, which is going all the way to the 19th. And more importantly, tomorrow is my birthday. So if you have any questions about either of those things, please feel free to contact Bullion RV today to learn more. Otherwise, the show at hand behind me here is this brand new Forest River Grey Wolf 25RRT. Yes, a travel trailer toy hauler. This unit comes in at about 30 feet long, 10 inches, and dry weighs at about 5,103 pounds. Now we're gonna start up here in the front. It sits on four manual stabilizer jacks, as you can see. While we're down here, you'll notice that is the quick connect for your propane. This storage is gonna connect to your, underneath your bed. We'll take a peek at that when we get up there. Otherwise, up front here, you got two 20 pound propane tanks, nice power jack tongue, and behind is your battery. All in front of this nice big rock guard where you're gonna take your toys. Next up, we got a six gallon hot water gas electric heater. We're moving on, more fun stuff. We have an outdoor shower, your city and your freshwater connection, cable hookup, black tank flush, and down below, you'll have your gray and black tank and a centralized dumping station right here. This is where you're gonna hook up your 30 amp service when you get to your campsite, if they have it available. And here are two of the four nitrogen filled tires, some sweet black rims. You're trying to color coordinate. Otherwise, on this driver's side, you got three windows. And this is going to be the exhaust port to an extent for your toys if you're trying to air out your toy hauler. Now, out back, as you can see, I drug the table that they give you out from between those couches just to give you an idea how big that thing is. And let me tell you, it is big. That's a nice, big, hefty table. <laughs> it took me a little bit to uh, get it over. Otherwise, just this garage aspect, obviously I have it in the playpen style right now. It is 90 by 76 inches. And up top there, we'll get a closer look. You got an outdoor light and a backup camera from when you're moving around or running around at night. On the passenger side here, you got a leash latch for Fido. Right beneath your 15 foot awning with LED lights, and there's also lights in the outdoor speakers, and if you want to hook up a TV out here, you can do that right there. Plug it in right here. Otherwise, we're going to take the two steps on the solid step system, grab your nice big grab handle, and we're going to go to the garage. Right here in front of me, obviously you have your kitchen, and then your seating, and then when you're in transit, those couches fold up against the wall so you can get your toys in here. Now for some quick metrics, or specs I should say. From the end of the garage to this wall is 121 inches. From the end of the garage to this line right here is 81. Now for width, this area from wall to wall is 92, and from the kitchen cupboards to that wall is 64. So in total, this is a 14 foot garage for your longer toys, but for your wider ones, you know, make sure these measurements are accurate if anything. Look at the map on our website to get a better idea of what I just talked about. Otherwise, up front here, this is where you're going to put your TV. Back is right here, entertainment center. And then plenty of storage right here. My favorite thing is a little spot to kick your shoes off. Otherwise, you got a nice 12 volt high efficiency refrigerator freezer combo right here. Got about 11 cubic feet. So plenty of food to feed the family on your next trip. And where are going to cook it? Right here, you got a three burner gas stove top. Gray stone oven, and up top you even have a microwave. Some more storage above and below. Now excuse my camera, but you also have a giant sink for whoever didn't cook, they can do the dishes in. Just tell them, you know, be a little careful on your water because you got 40 gallons of fresh water and a 38 and 38 gallon black water tank. Otherwise, again, standing right in the garage here, you got gigantic windows that are gonna look out at your campsite, which today, is that Keystone Cougar, but tomorrow, in a few months, could potentially be an actual Cougar, depending on where you camp. Moving back, again, the nicest thing about having a toy hauler is it's the simplest way to camp. You can just drop these shades or bug nets down. It can be in the comfort of your toy hauler, but still experience the great outdoor nature. Otherwise, if you've got kids, your dogs, got a nice little playpen for them. Make sure they're not adventurous, otherwise they might sneak out, but in the meantime, do have a pretty big spot back here. Again, 
You do have your backup camera right here and that exterior light. Otherwise, you get more storage in here. They're not wasting too much space at all. These higher spots, more windows. Like I was saying earlier, your exhaust, your toys right there. There's tie downs in here all throughout. I believe the other ones are hidden underneath here. Yep, they're right over there. Otherwise, your AC is going to be ducted along with your heat. Now where mom and dad are going to sleep, that is going to be up here in the front. But before we get there, let's check out this spacious bathroom. we got two different entry points, whether you're coming in from the master bedroom or coming in from the garage, kitchen, galley, outside. And a nice foot flush toilet right there, plenty of space. Got some storage up here. And then there's your sink, your medicine cabinet, and then again, pretty spacious shower. Again, by no means by the tallest, but if I were, I'd still have plenty of space to rinse off. Now, to the master. Pretty, pretty straightforward. You know, you have your wardrobes either side with your outlets. Then you have windows that can both open up to make some cross flow. And as I was speaking about earlier on the outside, this beneath the bed storage connects to that one storage door out there. Functionality at its greatest. Otherwise, sneaking back through the other master bedroom door. You gotta be weary of these two doors. Otherwise, you're gonna run into that. So just make sure you close one door after the other. Another big bullet window right here. Can't enjoy it too much with our black glassing window on the outside there, but it's nice to have. One last thing again, your Cherokee Total Control. You can hook it up with your phone and control basically everything wirelessly from afar. Say you're coming back from an adventure, you want to get ahead of everything, turn all the lights on, you can do that from your phone. Again, my name is Tristan here at Bullion RV. It is our show week. It's my birthday tomorrow. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at 507-923-5675. And have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.